Now, South Korea's presidential nominees have also been touching on the critical issue of national security, a topic that uh, has taken on even greater significance given the sharp uptick in inter-Korean tensions in recent weeks and months, while the two frontrunners, Moon Jae-in and An chol Su, have shifted their stance in regards to the THAAD deployment, citing the necessity of having the U.S. defense system here, joining ranks with the conservatives. The progressive candidate continues to be sharply opposed to it. For more on where the conservative, those in the middle, and the progressive candidate stand on national security, here's Shin Se-min. Among the key issues a presidential candidate will be tested on, national security. Hong Jun-pyo of the conservative Liberty Korea Party has been consistent in his hardline stance on security policy by punishing North Korea for its provocations and reviewing the policy of arming the South with tactical nuclear weapons. He made his position clear on Tuesday by visiting the nation's heavily militarized border. National unity, that's what we need to overcome the current crisis. And together we should face reality as this election could determine the fate of the people's safety. National security has been front and center of this nation divided alongside this border. Just half an hour away from here is North Korea, especially now for those running for the top office as Pyongyang ramps up its provocative behavior. With escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula and growing signs that North Korea may carry out another nuclear test, presidential candidates of the conservative Splinter Paden Party and the Progressive Justice Party held separate talks with the visiting nuclear envoy from Beijing, Wu Dawei. On the issue of the deployment of the U.S. missile defense system to South Korean soil, Yu Sung Min called on China to halt its economic retaliations, as THAAD is an issue to be discussed diplomatically. As mentioned multiple times in the past, THAAD deployment solely serves the purpose of the right to self-defense. I don't want there to be any misunderstanding and hope the economic cooperation between the two countries return to normal. Shim Sang-jung took a more aggressive approach in addressing the issue to the Chinese envoy. Apart from our party's strong objection to the THAAD deployment, China's decision to take economic retaliatory measures against its close friend was impetuous. Regardless of party lines, presidential hopefuls running in the elections regard national security as more pressing and crucial than ever, a sentiment shared by voters who expect national security and foreign policy to top the new administration's agenda. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.